Simon is going to make a presentation.
Thank you, Mr. Teske. Now can I have Mr. Work? I would give the privilege to extend congratulations to the two great academic achievement recipients. To say a few words about that, yesterday's assembly, we celebrated all of our achievements in terms of the various areas of the school. Today we were, we're celebrating our academic achievement. The two students that we're bringing out today combined both of those very nicely. I think the comment for one of their awards yesterday was they could barely see the white certificate behind all the black stickers that were placed upon. Both of these individuals have excelled academically in the four majors, and they've been vastly involved in all areas of the school here at Milton. I think that's a good sign for them, and a good sign for all of us. Life is basically the pursuit of knowledge and at the same time being involved in life and learning that knowledge. So these two people exemplify that very well. They have widely different styles of learning. One of them is violently quiet. So quiet you wonder if that person is even attentive in their class. But the radar's up, searching around, learning what's supposed to be learned and seeing what's happening in the world. And the other person is persistently questioning, just like a baseball um, pitcher, throwing the pitches in. Question here, what if Mr. Work? What about this Mr. Work? What, if, what happens if this happens? And so the two wildly different styles have achieved in very uh, high academic standards for both of them. If you can give uh, with me a good hand of applause and we bring forward Paula Tannigal and Herman Wan.
and as well, they averaged at the end of the year with the highest marks. I feel that for home ec and industrial arts that we're teaching something that are, that are life skills that the students hopefully will be able to use all through their lives. And, and I'm very pleased now to be able to award Andrea Inc. and Shauna Peters with the home ec award.
Don Jackie. Jason Kennard. Melissa <laughs> Leda. Charlene Nelson.
good body to teach them all together because they see the girls so close to various students whom I teach. Nevertheless, every good thing must come to an end and so must this company. The company between myself and my own must part. And I'm going to present to you, Mr. Norton, to give you the brand Blanchard. Michael Rico. <laughs> Lara Boo. Michelle Crane. Dayton L. Kimberly Hawkingberg. Christopher Fielding. Stephen Roth Goodman. <laughs> David A. Samuel Ryan. Samantha Kills. Mary K. Leon. Robert Maxwell. Marcy McGillian. Nicole Noel. Rachel Peakwells. Felicia Piper. Kevin Pyle. Patricia Schultz. Jeffrey Tower. <laughs> Douglas Truman. Please, Mr. Nader, the graduate class of the United Seven. Brian Brown. Becky Forrester. Imran Gulam. Yeah. David Hoyman. Don Charlo. Clarence Kim. Mike King.
Linda Langston. Travis Lindeman. Cynthia Mente. Gordon Miller. Christina Olson. Miraj Patel. Shauna Peters. to present the Citizenship Award. There's two reasons why we hand out awards. One, to recognize achievement by the individual and also to point out to the great sevens and eights excellent role models. And this, the recipient of this year's award is an excellent role model. I'm going to ask the winner to come up and then I'm going to tell you why she won it. Andrea Inc. <laughs> Andrea's name will be engraved on the large trophy and she'll receive this nice keeper trophy to remind her of a successful year here in grade nine. Andrea deserves this award for three reasons. And it all has to deal with her attitude and approach to things. It has to deal with her attitude and approach to her tasks, things that she does, her willingness to do things, her cooperation with others as she does it, the tasks that she's been assigned, are always well done. We can trust her to get the job done. For example, today, even in the drama room, she was given the task of organizing the excited grade nines to get them in order to bring them into the gym. Just an example of a task, something well done. Something else that she does very well in terms of attitude and approach, and that's towards others, towards her fellow students, helping them in math, helping them in science, helping them in any of the subjects. Her homeroom knows of her abilities in baking birthday cakes for some of the other people. Her warm personality certainly comes through. Also towards her teachers. There's, she's pleasant, cooperative, and although may not be perfect, like some of the people think that they are, uh, she makes the best of the situation, learns and grows from it, a great quality. And lastly, her approach and attitude towards herself. She's a good leader, and she's a good role model. She models excellence both in academics and athletics, and generally in school life. A well-deserved recipient of the Citizenship Award. Congratulations, Andrea Hink.